Hi guys, if it's Tuesday and it's really early, it's down in Dirty Woods Craft. Stay with me. Okay, now I'm about to turn in. I've just showed you what my fire looks like right now. Now I've got a good deep bed of coal sitting there. So what I want to do is I want to bank the fire for in the morning. So I got coals. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take a log about yay big around, you know, about eight or nine inches and about that long. And I'm going to rake coals to one side of my fire pit and I'm going to rake the ash and a little bit of dirt over the over the top of it and then right in the middle of it I'm going to put that log. What that's going to do is it's going to partially smother it. There's going to be just enough air to keep it cooking and that's about it. Now in the morning when I get up in another four or five hours I'll have coals up underneath that log. I already have a dry tinder bundle ready to go up under my shelter so that when I roll that log out of the way and fan off the ash there'll be large hot coals. This way I keep a fire perpetually moving. But what's more I can do is, remember where I raked it over to the side, that hot ground that I just cleared where my fire was? If I dig down, say about four inches right now, and I take me a aluminum foil packet several layers thick, and I put some vegetables and onions, some sausage, whatever, in it, seal it up, drop it in that hole, put the dirt over it. The heat that's been on that, cooking in that ground since I've had this fire going six, seven hours will slowly cook that. So tomorrow, whenever I wake up in four or five hours and I come back and I dig it up, I've got breakfast cooked. So here's your little tip or trick. What you do at the end of the night sets you up for the next day. So, what all can you do? There's lots of things I can do. I can bank the fire to have hot coals ready to go in the morning. I can go ahead and pre-set up the coffee pot ready to go, put it over here to the side, so in the morning, just as soon as the fire is on, I slide it on, ready to go. I can dig that hole and go ahead and put long, slow-cooked meat, stuff like that, bury it in the coals, underneath the coals, because this fire has been going at a good clip, because it's a cool night, for the better part of five or six hours, seven hours now. That ground is hot enough to bake. So when I rake it over here to the side a little to bank my fire, that's now a potential oven source. I dig down, put it, bury it, and cover it up. It will slow cook until in the morning. So I'm setting myself up for tomorrow's meal and also a fast get going in the morning where I could just simply dig it up. If I'm not gonna be staying here, I'm traveling. I could dig up my breakfast, open it up, eat it straight, haul out my aluminum foil, or be eating and walking at the same time I'm aluminum foil. Either one. I can also be setting up green wood around it right now, so as the heat is drying it out so the Mars uh, fuel source is ready to go. Clothing, I can put on sticks around the fire. One is a windbreak, and two, to guarantee that everything is dry and ready to go tomorrow. Little tips like that is what makes the difference, guys, and makes it where your day tomorrow is super smooth. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below, and I'm about to turn in for the night. Till next time, thank you very much for supporting my channel, and as always, safe journeys, guys.